My friends, so I have this prophetic word of encouragement that the Lord just dropped in my heart that I want to make sure that I share with you. And I heard the Lord saying this. He said, tell them, tell them to tell me, to say to me, Lord, I'm the one that you love. Lord, I'm the one that you love. Now, in the book of Jude, it tells us to keep yourself in the love of God. And for some of you, I know that is going to feel so uncomfortable to say, thank you, Lord, that I'm the one that you love, to just really identify yourself as the one that he loves. But it is so necessary. And let let me just tell you, when you do, you're in good company because the apostle John, John the Apostle in the book of John identifies himself, right, as the disciple whom Jesus loved. And he was the one who leaned against the chest of Jesus and heard the heartbeat of Jesus. And so here's the thing. Some of you are having difficulty, and this is what I sense in my spirit. Some of you are having difficulty in experiencing intimacy with God because you keep putting the burden on yourself and that it's all about your love, your devotion for Him. When the Lord says to us, it's really about our response to His love and what He's saying to you, if you will begin to identify, Lord, thank you that I'm the one that you love. Lord, I identify as the one that you love, that it will open you up to new levels of intimacy with Him. And so the Lord is admonishing you today, but in a, in a, in a beautiful way. He's saying, say to me, speak to me and say over, I want you to say it over and over again, Lord, I'm the one that you love. Lord, thank you that I'm the one that you love. Because what happens is, is the enemy puts a lot of doubt and shame and condemnation on us, and it hinders us from being able to go deeper and experience more with him. But if we will remember, it is about our response to his love for us that matters most. And what happens is you begin to identify that way, It's going to dismantle these lies of the enemy, and it's going to bring you into greater measures of the blessings and the provisions and the beauty of his love for you, because we often are are our own worst enemy. So I just had the Lord just drop this in my spirit for you. He says, tell them to say, I'm the one that you love. Lord, thank you that I'm the one that you love. And I just prophesy over you today that in the name of Jesus, you're going to be going into greater depths and and broader measures of his great love for you. He's about ready to take you into some deeper waters of his love. He's about ready to release you into some greater blessings that come from positioning yourself in his love. Keep yourself in the love of God so that the enemy cannot get in there and hinder you from experiencing all that God has for you. Amen. So I just bless you today in the name of Jesus and declare over you that this now is your time to go deeper with the Lord into intimacy with him because you're going to respond to his love for you. God bless you.